If you're thinking about making an impact on human health, then you're really in no better place to do that than here. To treat disorders with a stem cell focus, to heal the body with different approaches, I think that's very exciting. You get to choose from an abundance of different research opportunities. So you can be interested in stem cells or regeneration or very basic developmental biology concepts. There will be a lab that does any of those things. I've had the opportunity to really mold the program and do the research I find most interesting. I had the autonomy to choose what I was most interested in. There's no limit to what you can do other than what you can imagine. My work really focuses on regeneration. We're really inspired by developmental processes. We are really interested in trying to regenerate tendons and other related musculoskeletal tissues, such as the annulus fibrosis of the intervertebral disc. These tissues are really challenging because after injury, they don't regenerate, but they heal by forming a scar tissue. And so what we're doing in the lab is to try to learn how these tissues develop in order to apply similar principles to regenerating developing tissues in a dish or endogenously. We use mouse genetics combined with tissue engineering platforms to study these questions. The ultimate goal is really to treat patients with these types of injuries or degenerative processes. The heart is a very complex organ and we are pursuing projects or asking questions on how that structure is built during development. We try to understand what happens when this process goes wrong, which then leads to congenital heart defects. We are able to combine technology and model systems to address the questions. We also work with pluripotent stem cells as a model system. With the stem cell system, we can work with human cells directly, which then opens a whole world of studying disease and genetics and things that would be very difficult to study in model systems. That is definitely one area that has been a game changer in terms of ability to understand human heart development. The ultimate aim of our research was to answer fundamental questions of developmental biology, which remain unresolved despite decades of research. Initially, after an egg is fertilized, the embryo is not expressing its own genome. We really want to know how is that maternal supply generated, what's in there, what's important, and how does that contribute to normal development. We also are asking how the germline stem cells are specified. This is, of course, the key to fertility. If we can understand how is the stem cell pool specified, how is it maintained, how does it keep its identity by understanding how to preserve and renew the germline. And we can provide opportunities for reproductive intervention. We can help women to understand maybe why they're infertile. And understanding is really powerful for people who are suffering. Mount Sinai is an amazing community. Overall, you just have a super vibrant community of people who are interested in seeing you succeed. Ultimately, I'd like to think that the work I'm doing right now can contribute to a body of knowledge that we can use to treat patients directly. The more I work on my project, the more in love with it I fall. If you are a student who wants to be able to explore really exciting research and to be surrounded by extremely bright, supportive, engaging faculty in what is the greatest city probably, in my opinion, in, in the world, there's really no other place that you can go. The training, I think, really has exceeded my expectations. It feels good saying, oh my god, I'm a scientist. <laughs>